Good evening everyone, Izuna here. Tonight I want to talk to you about the four levels of learning. Um, some of you may have probably already learned about this, but I kind of want to tie it with uh, marketing. You know, with the four levels of learning, the first level is actually, it's called the unconscious incompetent. I was actually going to do a little PowerPoint about this, but I figured, you know, I'll just, just do, you know, I'm trying to get back in the habit of shooting video. And I didn't feel like making that PowerPoint, so you know what, just turned on the camera and just started shooting. Um, uh, Unconscious incompetence, that's basically you don't know what you don't know. So, you, you know, that's when you're still pretty much you don't know anything about that, you know. And then the second level is actually it's called conscious incompetence. And that's um, you know that you don't know that information yet, you know. So it's pretty much, you know, when you learn something brand new and you know that you don't know much about it at the time. So you're still pretty much a newbie at it. And then the third level is called conscious competence. And that's uh, you get pretty good at something, but you know it's not you. You haven't gotten to that point where you can do it with your eyes closed. You know you still need to think about it when you're doing things. You know, and that's called conscious competence. That's the third level. Now the fourth level, this is the level where you pretty much get to mastery, and it's called unconscious competence. That's uh, you know you really you become really good at something. Um, you can do it without thinking about it. Um, it doesn't require much focus on your end. Now, uh, remember I told you I wanted to tie this into it as far as in regards to your marketing. A lot of times, you know, if you are working part time like myself with your online business, you're still, you know, you're still learning things, and you know, sometimes when you're learning stuff, um, it can get frustrating because you don't know anything at the, you know, when you first start, and then when you do know a little bit, you know, it, you don't quite perfect it yet, and I think that's what um, what a lot of marketers do wrong is. They, you know, they start doing stuff and they're not getting the results they want. And then they quit. But in reality, they're just really they're going through the you know the four levels, and then before you know, you get really good at something. Uh, perfect example for me is um, you know when I used to do Craigslist marketing. When I first started, you know, it took me forever to do. I I would always mess up. Sometimes my th my ads would get flagged. I mean, my ads still get flagged from time to time. But you know, it was frustrating in the beginning. But I stuck with it. I kept going. I kept going. You know, I got to a point where I was able to start generating five leads a day. But you know, and I kept going. And then I got to ten. And then to fifteen. You know, now it, since I'm so used to doing it, I don't have to think about it. I can, you know, I can do my my Craigslist ads in about five to ten minutes. You know, in a day. Um, you know, early in the morning. Shoot, I know I, I set those ads up in the morning, and then I fire them out, and they're good to go. Um, now I'm generating between 20 to you know 50 leads just from that, and it's because I've gotten to that point of um, not necessarily mastery, but um, I've gotten to the point I've gotten pretty damn good with Craigslist marketing, you know, and that's just one of them. Um, you know, a lot of things we do online is you know just getting um, getting to that point you get good at it, and then I think that's another thing where people kind of go wrong on is they try to tackle too many marketing techniques at the same time. Um, that's why I like to say, you know, just focus on a few, get good at it, and then get to a point where maybe you can outsource it to someone so they can keep doing that and then you can learn something new or, you know, just basically don't spread yourself too thin. Just focus on one technique when you're brand new and get really good at it. So that's how I kind of wanted to apply the four levels of um, learning with um, how it applies to marketing. So if you're not here, um, go ahead and click on the link below. It's just my Facebook. Go ahead and add me. Um, you know, talk to me. I'm a real person. So, all right.